The farms at Prophetstown staff recently learned the Department of Natural Resources plans to relocate power lines that currently run alongside two U.S. aggregate gravel pits off Swisher Road. The farm's executive director, Leslie Martin-Conwell, says it's her understanding that when the gravel mining ends, the DNR wants to move the power lines away from the pit, which will become swimming areas in the park. And as she understands the plan, moving those lines next to the farm is the least expensive option. Approximately, as you look over my shoulder, through the alfalfa field, through a section of our parking lot, behind the tenant house, and through our sheep pasture. So this, of course, has great concerns for us. Established in 1996, the farm at Prophetstown is a nonprofit that owns the buildings and livestock, but leases the ground from the DNR. Martin Conwell says the two entities are partners in a shared mission of providing educational opportunities and programs for visitors. She wants that relationship to continue, but says the board and staff at the farm believe the power lines will negatively impact the quality of visitors' experiences. We're a 1920s farmstead. So obviously to have power lines of any sort, uh, depending on whether they select the wooden poles or the metal pow uh, towers, either one would have a visual effect. Martin Conwell says the board and the staff hope the DNR will take into consideration the many free public education programs that go on at the farm, as well as the longtime community support for the historical working farm operation. The community for over 20 years has really invested in our nonprofit. They have done so by contributing money, in-kind donations. Mr. Dale Gibson, he donated over a million dollars so that this Gibson farmhouse can be here for the community, both local and visitors through town to enjoy. Martin Conwell says it's her understanding the Department of Natural Resources will make a decision next week. So the board and farm staff are asking community members to contact the DNR and weigh in on the route for the relocated power lines. Chris Morizivica, Star City News.